That's going to be his third Scott. So now for Scott. Scott called for his third foul. Anyway, Melvin Scott picks up his third. That's going to be Iowa Wesleyan's sixth team foul. 11.44 left to go. Heiners lead by nine. They'll inbound. Peterson lobs it out to Snyder. Gets it up top to Keeley now. Keeley guarded by Hill. Going to swing it right side over to Butler. Butler back over Snyder on the wing. He's guarded by Awanaki. Puts it on the floor. Spin move inside the paint. Nice head fake. Kicks it out. Brooks Butler for three. Go! You think he's feeling it, Scott? Maybe just a little bit. Comes out five and six from three-point line. First game back. I don't think he's missed a step. 62-50. Back to a 12-point lead. Hill back the other way. He'll put up a three. Miss it badly. A queen war sky for the rebound. And the foul's going to be called. This one's going to be on Scott again. And that's going to be his fourth. So now Coach. They're going to have to bring so in Barry. Head coach Alan McNani for Iowa Westland put in the same predicament Coach Lamar is. Scott's picked up his fourth foul. Let's see who he brings in. Instead of bringing in Lange, he's going to bring in number 52, Greg Barrick. And once again, comes down to free throws from Mid-America. Let's see how they do this time. Queen War at the free throw line. He's got a one and one opportunity here. First shot up and good. 63-50, 13 point lead now for Mid-America. 11-12 left to go here in this ball game. Good job by Mid-America that time. Coming down and getting the good position by War. Able to get good position, like I said, and Scott making Scott pick up his fourth foul. Stringer has it right side. Moore misses the, or hits the second one, excuse me. Barrett goes up with the layup the other way. Rolls out of bounds on the miss. It'll be Pioneer ball once again. 64-50, 11.05 left to play. Rumberg checking back in for Mid-America. As the Pioneers have a 14-point lead. Don't want to jinx our boys, but Mid-America, if they win this game here tonight, will take on Marion University in the 9.45 game again tomorrow night. Of course, we'll be here. And hopefully that game will start on time. Nice look inside from Snyder to Runberg. Runberg unable to complete it, but a good look either way. Here comes Iowa Wesleyan. Hill has it from the right wing. Up top over to Kerr. Kerr left side over to Stringer. Stringer dribbles inside the paint, trying to kick it out. Finds Kerr. He's going to put it on the floor. Back inside now to Barrick. Barrick trying to bounce pass over to Iwanaki. Loose ball on the floor. Peterson diving forward along with Barrick. And a jump ball is going to be called. That's going to be Pioneer basketball. No, actually, a foul is going to be called, it looks like. They don't like it too much when you start rolling over the basketball and you're on your back. So a foul is going to be on Barrick. That's going to be his second. That's going to send Peterson to the line for Mid-America. DP, an 83% free throw shooter on the season. Right now, if you're Mid-America, you gotta, you got to smell the, the blood in the water. you got to go for the, the kill right here and put this game away early. Peterson at the line, force first, 64-50. This can make it a 15-point lead, and he does. 10.30 left to go. We're not even at the halfway point here in the second half. The Pioneers already lead by 15 while we have the opportunity. I want to remind you, folks, that Quiznos is continuing its support of Pioneer Athletics on KMNU. Quiznos wants to offer a special deal for the rest of this basketball season. However many points your Pioneer score in this game is how many cents you get off from a toasty trio combo the next day. Go into the Quiznos on the corner of Santa Fe and Merlin and be sure to ask for the Pioneers for Pennies discount. Remember to ask for the offer and it's only good for the day after Pioneer basketball games. As Peterson hits the second, it's now a 16 point lead. Awanaki inside the paint for the Tigers, goes up with a shot, no good. A rebound picked up by Brooks Butler, here comes Runberg. I think I'm going to have to call old Shadik Patel the Quiznos and see if we can work out a deal for every game in the playoffs. Mid-America wins and maybe give a little free dinner for the whole school if the Pioneers go all the way to the championship game. What do you think there, Travis? There you go. Sounds like a plan, Scott. Left side, Runberg has it in the corner to Snyder. He'll put up a three and drill it. Quinn Snyder getting in the action. Telling Brooks Butler, hey, I don't want to be left out of the rain parade here as he drills it from the left corner and it's now 69-50. Mid-America all over Iowa Wesleyan here in this first round game. Like you said, I don't think Snyder wants to be outdone by Butler. He's going to come out and drill his own three from, from the lefty side as opposed to the right side from Butler. Good, good change up and 
But America extending this lead now to 19 points. Looking good for the Pioneers. You're just left-handed. That's why you mentioned the lefty. Well, of course. You got to. Got to stick with the lefties. Cooley in the game now for Iva Wesley. Swings it left side to Stringer. Stringer gets it up top to Wanaki. Back outside to Kerr now. Kerr going to find the cutting Stringer from the free throw line. Had to redirect a shot in midair. And a foul whistle away from the ball. Looks like this one's going to be on Snyder. Clint holding up his hand with a sour face. Sour expression on his face. I don't know if he agrees with it, but either way, Clint picks up his second. Snyder with 13 points on the evening. Picks up his second. Tigers to inbound. Inbound pass goes to Shamali. He puts up a three, no good. A rebound picked up by Rundberg. 69-50, 19-point lead. Nine minutes left to go here in this ballgame. Snyder find the cutting Keeley. Keeley off the glass, no good. Rebound picked up by Moore. He goes up with it, throws it in, and it's now a 21-point lead for our Pioneers. Here That's comes just Kerr not fair. Way. Gets it outside to Schmalley. He'll put up another three, miss it badly once again, and Snyder gets that rebound. Here comes Keeley now trying to run. He's got numbers, three on two inside the paint. Out to Rumberg. Brooks Butler now for three. Oh, no good. Brooks Butler wide open. I guess you have to have at least four hands in his face if he's going to drill the three-pointer. Had a wide open look right there. Couldn't hit it, but hey. Four by 21. We'll take it, Scott. <laughs> and a large part of that 21-point lead is the play of Brooks Butler here. His first action back since hurting himself in early February in a sledding accident. As the ball's knocked out of bounds. <laughs> And then a foul's picked up on Kerr. That's his first. Ninth team foul. Ninth team foul for Iowa Wesleyan. And Brooks Butler coming out. As Matt Keeley coming in. Actually, Runberg coming in for Butler. Keeley at the free throw line to shoot. Brooks Butler getting a nice standing ovation from the Mid-American Faithful here. As Keeley at the line for the one and one misses it. And the rebound's picked up by Wanaki. 71-50, 8.30 left to go. Shamali has it left wing, kicks it inside to Lange. Lange double teamed underneath. Gets it outside to Stringer. He'll pop a three from the left side. No good. Air ball, actually. Maybe got a little bit of rim, but either way, Snyder right there for the board. And he's just going to bring it down for Mid-America. Snyder inside to Wire. Tim Wire working on four fouls. Turnaround shot, no good. Stringer skying for the rebound. Goes out of bounds. They're going to say a Queen War knocked it out. So it'll be Iowa Wesleyan basketball. Still 71 50, still 21 point lead for the Pioneers. O'Reilly back in the game, trying to penetrate. Kick it out to Shamali. Back up top to Wanaki. Back over left side to O'Reilly. He'll try to penetrate. Little hook shot from inside the paint. Missed badly. Here comes Keeley now, left side over to Snyder. Snyder on the baseline up top, free throw line to Wire. Wire trying to lob it inside to Ward, and it's thrown out of bounds by Tim. It's going to be another turnover as Hill coming back in for the Tigers. Mid America just needs to slow it down a little bit. They're, they like to run the fast paced game, but right now you're up by 21, run a little time off the clock and take your way to victory. You got to play again tomorrow. You don't want to run yourself too bad because you got to be fresh for tomorrow's game. 7.45 left to go here in this ball game. Pioneers lead 71-50. As O'Reilly has it inside the paint. Nice dish inside to Lange. Lange goes up with it. Has it blocked by Queen War. It looks like War going to be hit with a foul. This floor threw it out of... Wow, they're Lange. actually going to call that on Wyrick Scott, and that's going to be the ball game for him. Oh, my I don't know how, but... Goodness. Oh, no. Wyrick wasn't even in the play, I couldn't tell. He picks up his fifth, and he'll be out, 7.34 in the second half, and Wyrick picks up his fifth foul. Coach Lamar calling all of his pioneers over to talk to him. It looks like he's going to send Schaefer up into the scores bench. Seventy-one fifty, seven thirty-four, 7.34, left to play. Mid-America in control here in this first round action. Don't forget, Mid-America will play tomorrow night against Marion University at 9.45 p.m. It's going to be the same time for the game slot as it is here tonight, but hopefully that game will start on time, unlike tonight's game. Tonight's game about 25 minutes behind schedule because of an overtime thriller between Northwestern and Huntington. Huntington knocking off the two-time defending national champions 
Northwestern. First shot from Lange at the free throw line's up and good. 71-51 now. Lange has another one coming his way. Drills the second one. And it's just a 19 point lead now for Mid-America. We'll take just a 19 point lead there right now. Uh, Scott, I said 30. it sarcastically. Peterson across the timeline, breaks the Tiger press. Gonna hand it up top to Keeley now. Keeley swings it right side to Snyder. Snyder over to Rumberg on the wing. Law pass into Snyder, trying to jam it in. Can't get it to fall through, and here come the Tigers now. Stringer inside the paint, up with a circus shot. Misses it, ball tipped by Schaefer, goes out of bounds, and he'll stay with the Iowa Wesley. And that almost went in there by Stringer. But talk about Clint Snyder skying through the air. Nice look from Rumberg on the far right wing. Just Snyder unable to get a grip on it and throw it through, it looked like. Yeah, it's kind of been a tough night for Snyder trying to keep a hold of that ball when he's going for the dunks. Still a great look, still a great pass. You'd like to see it. It'd be nice if they could get it down, but they're working on it now. Maybe it'll come through tomorrow for them when they're playing. Stringer on the inbound, drives baseline, kicks it up top to Lange. Lange had an open shot, passed it up. They said they'll try to take Schaefer to the hole, and Schaefer just going to throw it right back from where it came from. Great job by Schaefer picking up another block. He's just dominating the inside right now, and Lane just doesn't have a chance, and he's just kind of not looking like the star player he's supposed to be for Iowa Wesleyan right now. 71-52, Pioneers lead, 6.40 left to go in this ball game. Peterson from the free throw line, hits Keeley, he'll put up a jumper from the baseline. No good, rebound picked up by Lange. Here comes O'Reilly now for the Tigers. Left side over to Hill, he'll put up a deep three, no good. Rumberg there for the backside rebound, and here come the Pioneers once again. Keeley going to smartly walk it down the court and slow this game down. That's right. Take some time off this clock. Let the time tick down to double zeros and go home with the victory. O'Reilly going for the steal on the Matt Keeley pass. Knocks out of bounds. Pioneers regain possession. As Melvin Scott coming back in for Iowa Wesleyan. The timeout's going to be taken by Coach Lamar. 6-18. Love to play. 30-second timeout it is. We'll be back in 30. 71-52. Pioneers lead. Elmer from Point Lookout, Missouri, College of the Ozarks, NAIA Division II Men's National Tournament. First round action, Mid-America leading Iowa Wesleyan. 71-52, 6-18, left to play here in this ball game. Snyder, Schaefer, Rundberg, Peterson, and Keeley in for Mid-America. O'Reilly, Stringer, Scott, Awanaki, and Hill in for the Tigers from Iowa Wesleyan. Peterson has it, law pass inside to Schaefer. Turn around off the glass by Schaefer, no good. Stringer with that rebound. Here come the Tigers. Good look that time by the Pioneers getting inside. Good look for Schaefer. He's going to eventually hit those. Just didn't fall for him that time. O'Reilly with the runner inside the lane. Misses it badly. Peterson trying to run with it one on two. He'll go inside the lane. Throw it off the glass. It goes in. Don't know. Count it, they say. They're going to count it or not. It's a fouls on Peterson. No basket. No basket. They take it away. Offensive foul on DP. That's his second. That's his third. Peterson picked up his third, 5.45 left to go. It's just a matter of running the clock out now for Mid-America. Wanaki left wing, inside to Scott. Spin move by Scott on Schaefer, goes up, misses it. Rebound picked up by Hill. His putback's no good, ball tipped up in the air. Still tipped up, picked away there by Hill. Goes back up with it, has it swatted by Big Dave. Loose ball, saved by Rumberg, into the hands of Stringer. He tries to spin inside the lane, loses his footing. No foul called, Keeley gets a loose ball. Three on four, Peterson up with the layup off the glass, good. Good strong move that time by Peterson and Keeley hooking up on the three on two. Good look away by Keeley in addition to the open Peterson. O'Reilly now inside the paint, nice head fake, gets Snyder to leave his feet, goes up with the shot, no good. Rundberg trying to get the rebound, finally does, gets it outside to Snyder. Snyder over to Keeley, three on two, Keeley gonna slow it up. Law pass into Snyder, goes up for the dunk, misses it. And he once again fouled badly, Snyder falls to the floor hard. This time he gets up okay, it looks like. 
And good show of sportsmanship there by Scott. And if that's on Scott, that's going to be his fifth. Now they got it on. It's going to be on the Wanaki. That's going to send Snyder to the line to shoot two. Once again, Scott, I ask, why, why is Mid-America pushing the ball so hard right now? They need to just preserve their energy, I think, and back it off a little bit and run some time off the clock. I know you like to have the showy plays and everything, but save it for the second round and do them, do them there. It doesn't hurt to work on them now, but like well, I said. The, the only thing I'm thinking right now is they're probably waiting for the three-minute mark because you look 4.55, you know, freakier things have happened. Granted, you have a 21-point lead, 73-52. They're probably just thinking, you know what, push it until the three, three-and-a-half-minute mark and then we'll start, try to run the clock out by then. As Snyder hits one of two, makes it 74-52. That plan works fine, Scott, I think, when you're playing regular season conference play. But right now, when you're playing every day, it's a lot harder on the legs. Well, we disagree. Let's just agree on that. How's that? As it's swatted All by right. Schaefer at the other end, Peterson gets the loose ball. Here comes Keeley once again trying to push. Hits it over to Snyder on the right wing, and Keeley hit with an offensive foul. That's Once gonna again, be Matt Keeley's third. All three of them are offensive fouls right now. <laughs> Keeley just leaving his feet and a little out of control. He's having a good time, though. That's all that really matters here. They are having a good time, and you like to see that, Scott, and you like to see him moving on to the second round, hopefully in four minutes and 39 seconds. 74-52, 22-point lead. Lange has it from the low block, trying to hand it off to Iwanaki. Loose ball picked up by Lange, but Iwanaki couldn't hold on to it. As Lange tries to go inside, challenges Schaefer, gets fouled. That's going to be on Big Dave, and now Big Dave is out of the game. So this may be why Mid-America is still pushing the ball here, Travis, because now Mid-America's second center has fouled out. Schaefer picking up his fifth. Wire along with Schaefer out of the game. 428 still left to go, 74-52. I know it seems like a long shot, but... Can't be too careful here in this situation. War up off the bench, he'll come in for Schaefer. And Schaefer <laughs> going over and shaking all officials' hands. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> Thank you officials for giving me five fouls. I appreciate it. I'll see you next round. Nice play. <laughs> nice show of sportsmanship there by Big Dave. Going over and shaking every official's hand. You like to he's see it, smart. Scott? He knows he's going to be moving on to the next round. You don't want to make too many enemies here. He's still got four more rounds of basketball to be played. Lange hits them both. Makes it 74-54. 4.28 left to go. Tigers coming out in the four-court press. Pioneer's going to break it easily. Peterson across the timeline. Going to swing it right side over Keeley. And now Matt going to hold on to it. Now nah, they're going to try to run a little bit of time off the clock. That's what you like to see, too. Grunberg left wing now guarded by Kerr. Nearing the four minute mark here left to go in this ball game. Runberg penetrates, runner in the lane. Off the glass, no good. Rebound picked up by Lange. Here comes Kerr now with it. Kerr thought about a pull up three and said hits a Wanaki. He'll put up a three and drill it. Cooley falls hard to the floor. No foul called. No harm, no foul, I guess. As it's now 17 point lead. Pioneers have it. 3.45 left to go. Runberg going to hold on to it, get it up top to Snyder. And he'll hand it off to Keeley. Peterson's doing a good job that time. He had an opportunity maybe for a layup to being a smart senior. Pulled it back a little bit. And like I said, Scott, they're going to run the time off the clock now. Runberg has it now near the right sideline. Gets over to Peterson inside the paint. He'll turn around, put up a shot, and drill it. Good smart shot by Peterson. Able to get inside, turn around. Defender didn't get his hand in his face, so he put up a wide open shot and nailed it. Hill gets it inside the lane. Turn around right hook by Lange, no good. Gets his own rebound, he's fouled by Keeley. Matt Keeley coming out of nowhere, knocking Lange away. And Matt Keeley's picked up his fourth. And I'm trying to recall my memory here, but in my two and a half years of having the liberty of calling Mid-American basketball games, I don't think I've ever mentioned Matt Keeley in foul trouble. He is now. Four fouls with 309, I guess it's not really trouble. 309 left the play. You lead by 20. But still, Matt Keeley in danger of fouling out. It's just a weird thing to say, Scott. Like you said, it, it, has, it doesn't happen very often. And Keeley just playing a great game right now and has four fouls, but right now I don't think it really matters a whole much, a whole lot for Mid-America. Lange hits one of two. It's now 76-58. 
Peterson trying to throw it deep to Keeley to break the press. It's stepped in front there by Lange, and Iowa Wesley gets it back. So Pioneers is being a little sloppy here towards the end. But it's obvious they're just trying to get this game over with as a Queen War inside fouls Lange once again. And so Lange will go back to the free throw line. He hits them both. He cuts it down to a 16-point lead. 2.55 left to go. Pioneers need to be careful. Still a long ways for Iowa Wesleyan to come back in this game, but you let him take, you let him cut into that lead and not run any time off the clock. That's what's going to do it. Lange from the free throw line drills the first. It's now 76-59. And all of a sudden, Lange also has 13 points now, starting to get his points in the second half, and I'll get them almost all from the free throw line too, Scott. Lange hits them both, 76-60. They stay in their full court press. Snyder has it left sideline. Trying to get it across. Finds Runberg. Nice pass. Runberg all alone near the baseline. Lays it in for two. Great job by Mid-America that time. Breaking the press. Runberg wide open for the open layup. Taking advantage of the press. Sometimes you gamble on the press like that. And it didn't pay off that time for Iowa Wesleyan. Lange trying to get it inside on the baseline. Has it knocked away. Loose ball picked up by Runberg. And with 2.25 left to go. Pioneers get it back. Off pass inside the war, back out to Peterson. Back up top to Snyder, back inside the war. Turn around shot by war, off the glass, no good. Rebound picked up by Awanaki. 2.15 left to go. Schmale in the game now, gets it inside the lane. Turn around hook by lane, off the glass and good. Two minute mark now. Pioneers lead 78-62. Peterson has it near the timeline. Trying to get it to War out of War's hands into the hands of Runberg. Runberg now left side to Keeley. Keeley left for a one open three. He's going to hold on to it. 145 left to go. Peterson now has it in between the circles. He'll put it on the floor, hand it off to Matt. 15 on the shot clock. Keeley going to hold on to it for a while. He'll dribble right side, get a pick from Snyder. Pull up, take a three from the right side. Go! Good looking shot that time by Keeley. Good pick by Snyder to free him up. Able to drive, drill the wide open shot. Back the other way, Schmalley with the three, misses it from the left side. Rebound picked up by Runberg. 120 left to go, Piners lead 81-62. Snyder has it left corner, guarded by Cooley. Gonna go inside the paint to Keeley. Keeley now back up top to Runberg. And now fresh five getting ready to come in for the Pioneers. Coach Lamar gonna take a timeout and give five fresh players just a chance to get in the ball game. Nate Edson, Derek Algrim, John Lewis, Joel Porter, and Brett Niebuhr going to come in for the five Pioneers on the floor right now. 110 left to play. Pioneers lead 81-62. This is Mid-America's ninth appearance in the NAI Division II National Tournament. They're in a five-way tie, or excuse me, a three-way tie with three other schools for most, appear for most tournament appearances. The Pioneers have a 9-8 tournament record overall. 2001 runner-up. They're going to try to make a run here in this year's tournament. They're going to move on to the second round where they'll take on Marion University in the second round tomorrow night at 9.45. Brett Niebuhr, nice pass from Lewis on the left side. Turn around, lays it in for two. Brett Niebuhr getting some points here in this last minute of action. That's what you like to see right there, Scott. The senior doesn't get a lot of playing time, able to get a two points in there in the national championship series. Nice looking shot by Kerr from the right side. Drills a three. Here comes Porter back the other way. He'll put up a three. No good. Misses it. Scott comes away with that rebound. Back out to Kerr. 40 seconds left to play. 83-65. in America on cruise control right now. Inside the lane. Kerr misses the runner. Rebound picked up by Niebuhr. Nice pass from Edson inside to Porter. Over to Algram. Algram trying to get in the action. He's fouled. Diego, he'll go to the free throw line. He'll have a chance to get on the scores board. Good job by Mid-America that time, passing the ball around a lot. They might have taken one too many passes. By Porter could have put up the easy layup, but we want to try to get the assist and get Algram in the game and get him a couple points, so he'll have to try to earn him from the free throw line now, though. Fouls on number 24, Adam Cooley. That'll send Algram to the line. For Mid-America, first shot from DA up, no good. Algram, a 33% free throw shooter on the year. Has one more chance here. 27 seconds left to go in this ball game. Also, the freshman coming in for the Pioneers. Matt Clark coming in. 
and she'll get some time. John Lewis gonna come out, and he'll go to the bench as Algren hits the second one. And it's now 84-65, 20 seconds left to go. Schmalling puts up another three from the right side, no good. Scott with that rebound, lays it in. 18 seconds left to go. Pioneers have it, Edson now. Gonna bring it across the timeline for Mid-America. Loses footing, lose the ball, pick it back up. Loose ball on the floor, everyone diving for it. Porter comes away with it. That's taken out of his hands by Kirk. Four seconds left to go. Schmalley for three from the left wing as the buzzer sounds. Drills it. Doesn't matter though, 84-70 is the final score. And Mid-America wins its first round game. They move on to take on Marion University here in the second round of the NAI Division II Men's National Tournament. We'll be back in three minutes with post-game stats and analysis. You listen to Pioneer Basketball on KMNU, your Pioneer Sports Radio Network. Scott? Yeah. 